Hello viewers, I am Dr. Mala Das Sharma and you are watching my channel Kem Filik. Let's start the 19th episode of Teaching Chemistry Through Riddles. Do watch the video till the end so that you can enjoy the complete riddle. So here is our riddle number 19. <coughs> Headache, don't worry. I am here with which you can prepare a wonderful drug for preventing headache using acetylation method. I am a ring structured compound and can produce carbon dioxide from sodium bicarbonate solution. By applying a well-known reaction, you can prepare me from phenol. So, this is riddle number 19. Now, let's see the questions. Question number one or primary question is who am I? Question number two, what is acetylation reaction? Explain. Question number three, what is the name and structure of the drug for headache as referred in the riddle? How is it prepared from me? Question number 4. Name the referred well-known reaction by which you can prepare me. Why can I produce carbon dioxide from sodium bicarbonate solution? So, these are the question. <coughs> now, let's see the answer of the primary question. The primary question is, who am I? The answer is, Salicylic acid. Now question number two. What is acetylation reaction? Explain. Answer is. Look at here. This is aniline which contains amino group. The hydrogen atom of this amino group can be replaced by acetyl group that is CH3CO group and that is acetylation reaction. So, in acetylation reaction, hydrogen atom from amines, ammonia, phenol, water and carboxylic acid can be replaced by acetyl group that is CH3CO group. And the acetylating agent is acetyl chloride or acetic anhydride. Now here, this is aniline. This hydrogen atom can be replaced by acetyl group or CH3CO group when it is treated with acetyl chloride or acetic anhydride. And the product is acetanilide. Now, this is the mechanism. A nucleophilic attack takes place through the lone pair of electron of this nitrogen atom. This attacks the carbon atom of this acetic anhydride and the product is your acetanilide. So, acetylation reaction is the replacement of hydrogen atom present in water, alcohols, phenols, ammonia, amines and carboxylic acid molecule by acetyl group or CH3CO group. The reagent used for acetylation reaction is acetyl chloride or acetic anhydride. Now, acetylation reaction for the protection of groups. Let's see. See, this is aniline. Now, it is more reactive towards electrophilic substitution reaction than benzene because this amino group is activating group. So, when this aniline is treated with bromine in aqueous solution, then immediately all the ortho, that means both the ortho positions and para positions are occupied by bromine and you will get the product 2,4,6-tribromoaniline. Now, to prepare monobromoaniline, you have to protect this amino group. How? See, this is aniline. When it is subjected to acetylation reaction, then acetanilide is formed. Acetanilide is less activating group 
compared to amino group. So, in acetaldehyde, when it is treated with bromine solution, bromine in aqueous solution, then only the bromine atom occupies the para position and you will get the para bromo acetanilide. This is the major, <coughs> major product and little bit ortho product also form. When this para bromo acetanilide is uh, subjected to hydrolysis, you will get the para bromo aniline or 4 bromo aniline. So, to prepare this para bromo aniline, this an amino group must be protected through acetylation reaction. Then bromination should be done with the acetanilide so that para bromo acetanilide is formed and which on hydrolysis will give the para bromo aniline. <coughs> so acetylation reaction is used to protect the group. For example, bromination of aniline immediately results the formation of 246 tribromo aniline. To prepare monobromo aniline, amino group is protected by acetylation reaction whereby acetanilide is formed. The anilido group is less reactive than, than amino group towards electrophilic substitution reaction. Therefore, monobromo acetanilide is formed which on hydrolysis gives monobromo aniline. Now coming to question number 3. What is the name and structure of the drug for headache as referred in the little? How is it prepared from me? See the answer. The answer is aspirin. It is the name of the drug which is acetyl salicylic acid. Now, aspirin is prepared by the acetylation of salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is orthohydroxybenzoic acid. And aspirin is an analgesic drug. It blocks the production of prostaglandins, that is the on and off switch in cells that regulates pain and inflammation. That's why aspirin stops the mild inflammation and pain. So, this is salicylic acid or orthohydroxybenzoic acid. When it is acetylated by using acetic anhydride, then acetylation of the phenolic OH group takes place, whereby hydrogen atom is replaced by acetyl group or CH3CO group, and you will get the acetyl salicylic acid or aspirin. Mechanism is same as that of acetylation reaction. This lone pair of electron of oxygen of OH group attacks this nucleophilic attack and this carbon atom of, carbon atom of acetic anhydride and carbon oxygen bonded electron pair shifted to this oxygen and it is removed at acetate ion and then you will get the product aspirin or acetyl salicylic acid. Now question number 4. Name the referred well-known reaction by which you can prepare me. Why can I produce carbon dioxide from sodium bicarbonate solution? The answer is Colbe reaction by which you can prepare this salicylic acid. Let's see. So, in Colbe reaction, phenoxide ion that is sodium phenoxide or potassium phenoxide because phenoxides are more reactive than phenol. The phenoxide ion when treated with carbon dioxide at 120 to 140 degrees centigrade temperature and at 1 to 2 atmospheric pressure, say 1.5 atmospheric pressure, then this sodium salt of or potassium salt of this Salicylic acid is formed, which on hydrolysis or acidification, it will give the salicylic acid. Now, let's see the mechanism of Colbe reaction. Here, the hydroxyl ion will take the H plus and form the phenoxide ion. The phenoxide ion participates in resonance with the benzene ring. So, this electronic 
pair comes here and finally it comes to the ortho position. So, this negative charge from the ortho position gets attached with the carbon atom of carbon dioxide and the CO2 is get, CO2 gets attached at the ortho position with respect to this double bonded O or phenoxide ion of this, uh, of this uh, benzene ring and then this ion is formed which on acidification will give the salicylic acid. That means it takes the H plus and form the salicylic acid. Now, why can I produce carbon dioxide from sodium bicarbonate solution? Strong acid and release the weak acid from its salt. So, strong acid plus salt of weak acid will be the weak acid that is the release of weak acid plus salt of strong acid. See, carboxylic acid is stronger than the carbonic acid and sodium bicarbonate is the salt of carbonic acid. So, stronger carboxylic acid can release the weaker carbonic acid in the form of carbon dioxide and water. So, when carboxylic acid reacts with sodium bicarbonate, carbon dioxide water that is carbonic acid is formed and the sodium salt of this carboxylic acid is formed. Now, when it is applied to the salicylic acid, in salicylic acid when treated with sodium bicarbonate solution, then what happens? The weaker carbonic acid is formed that means carbon dioxide gas is evolved and water is formed and the salt of this salicylic acid is formed. So, stronger acids can release weaker acid from their salts. Carboxylic acid is stronger than carbonic acid, so it can release the weaker carbonic acid, that is carbon dioxide plus, plus water from its salt sodium bicarbonate solution. So, this was radial number 19. Hope you have enjoyed.